In this lecture, we're going to see a custom reporter option which is available in Playwright, which is very, very handy and useful. And a lot of people really love that reporting option, which is nothing but the Allure report. So Allure report has also released a new reporting option supported exclusively for Playwright called as Allure Playwright. So if you just go to the package.json file over here, and then if you just search for Allure, something like this, and if you just do hyphen, and you can see that we have something called as Allure Playwright over here. So you can use this Allure Playwright over here, like this is the reporting option, which can help you to generate the Playwright test report, but for Allure itself. And I will show you how easy it is and how awesome it is. But before that, we first of all need to install the Allure report itself. So I'm gonna stop the already executing HTML report, and I'm gonna say npm install, which is going to install the Allure Playwright for us over here which is great. And once it is done, I'm then going to perform a series of operations. The first thing is I'm gonna go to the playwright config.ts file and I have to pass the allure reporting option over here. So I'm gonna say allure playwright. So this is the reporter that we need to use. And then I'm just gonna leave the rest of them as it is. So we're gonna generate like four different types of reporter this time, which is great. And I'm then going to run the test over here. So the test execution is going to be pretty much exactly the same. That is the only change which I have to do there, like the Allure Playwright. And once I do that, you will notice that there is a folder generated automatically, which is called as Allure Results. And these are all coming over here based on the executions which are currently happening behind the scene within our machine with the test execution, as you can see. And once the execution is fully complete, we have to just go and install and command line interface for the Allure command, which is gonna be the Allure command line itself. So I'm just gonna say npm install hyphen D of Allure command line. So we need to have this particular package. If we don't really install this particular package, we can't really run the Allure report itself. So make sure that you do this particular operation first. And once this is done, all you have to do it in here is that you need to do npx of Allure. And then within over here, we need to do a generate. And I'm gonna specify the reporter path, which is nothing but the Allure results and I'm gonna say a flag called as clean. So once I do that, this is going to generate a HTML folder for us called as Allure report folder. So if you just go to the project over here, do you see that we have an Allure report folder? It has got an export, history, plugin, widget, and there is also an index.html file, which is essentially a reporter really. Now we have to open this particular report. So in order to do that, I need to do what is called as an npx, Allure, open, and then I need to specify the path where the report is. So I'm just gonna say report. And once I hit enter, you'll notice that we get an Allure reporter this time. This is awesome, right? Like we have a very nice little dashboard over here. It shows us the category of defect items. And there is this product defects over here, which is failing reasonably. Uh, and also if you go to the suite, we can see that there is a Chromium test execution happened and there is a WebKit test execution really happened. And you can see for each and every test what's really happening. So we don't really have any retries and that's the reason why there is no retry. But if there is any failure, then it is gonna show that's failure for us. And there is also a video for that particular test execution which has happened behind the scene, as you can see. And there is also going to be a screenshot uh, if there is going to be any failure there. So everything is coming up for us over here, which is awesome. And if there is any test being passed, we don't really have any screenshot, rather we just have the video there. And this is the exact same video that you can play in like what has happened behind the scene while the execution has happened. And if there is any retries available, then it is also going to show the retries over here. And I'll show you quickly how that's going to look like. But you can notice that we have a lot more detail over here comparing to the actual playwright report itself. I mean, this playwright HTML report is like quite straightforward and plain, but this report, the Allure report is really, really awesome. And now if I just go back and change our playwright configuration from the retries that we have from two, and we have said zero for 
the non CI way. So if I set this to two over here, and if I save this, and if I try to perform the test execution once again, you will notice that it is gonna perform the test execution for us, but at the same time, it is also gonna retry if there is any failure of the test execution. So let's wait for the whole test execution to fully complete. And you can see that this time we have the retries over there and hopefully the same retries is going to be coming up for us in the Allure reporting as well. So let's wait for this test execution. It is almost about to complete. And now I need to do once again the same thing, which is the NPX Allure generate of Allure results. Uh, and then I also need to do the NPX Allure report of open over here. And now if I go to the suite and Chromium, and if I choose over here, you see that there is a failure. And now if we go to the retries, we should also have the retries over here. So it has did the retry like three times, like zero, one, two, and there is this failure happening there. And this is exactly gonna be true for the uh, WebKit as well, because that it has happened the same thing over here. So these are things that are automatically gonna come up for us in the Allure report. And I guess Allure reporting is quite neat in terms of the way it is gonna present the result for us. And it is one of the custom reporter option which is available in Playwright, which you can pretty much exactly do like how you did earlier with the multiple different reporting option. But now you can just add the Allure report and that's it, you're done. You also have a Allure report over here within your project.